feel sick and I want to go home. I don't think that's me. My name is James Edward Garcia, and welcome to another episode of My Haunted Diary. This is part one of Marty and I spending the night exploring and investigating the large Gothic surviving building known as Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky. We had been to this place before, but for the haunted Halloween attraction. But this time, the haunted experiences would be real, without the distraction of hundreds of thrill seekers looking for a staff-prepared scare. And we would spend the entire night locked in the place. A sanatorium is a place mostly known for the treatment of tuberculosis a century back. Unfortunately, treatments were experimental and many did not survive. A cure was found in the late 1940s. An antibiotic named streptomycin would be administered over the next decade, and sanatoriums would become a thing of the past. I will showcase a brief history on Waverly Hills and some of the known hauntings next. But the amount of paranormal activity experienced and captured in this place includes shadow people, apparitions, disembodied voices, getting scratched, the full gamut of what you can expect from a haunted place. I did not enter subtitles in the video to save on time, so it may not always be clear as to what was said. We started our investigation at night from the bottom up. So the first stop was the death tunnel where we heard loud bangs, captured EVPs, and heard disembodied voices. They put a plastic wrap to cover the end of the dark, creepy tunnel, and the plastic would move as if it were breathing. We head to the first floor and go into the morgue where I laid in a body slab. At one point, we could clearly hear squeaking metal within the unit. There were autopsy tables and a sink as well. Next, we went through the area that had been converted into a haunted attraction where there were lots of scary faces looking back at us. Keep in mind, other than the death tunnel where I used a camera floodlight to film, we were in complete darkness. I had two cameras running simultaneously on a rig that I carried. One was an infrared and the other was in full spectrum. I used infrared emitters to film in the darkness, but to our eyes, we could not see this. So it was tough getting around without some small flashlight at times. The place started to get to Marty, and being empathic, she picked up a lot of ill feelings and hopelessness. Once we moved up to the patient rooms and the rehabilitation areas, starting on the second floor, we would have to take breaks in the open solarium so she could get some fresh air and her strength back to continue. We would capture lots of EVPs and hear voices all around us. It was a full moon and the spirits seemed to be quite active that night. The episode ends while we were almost ready to move to the third floor. Make sure to check back for part two, the final episode, where I capture a full body apparition down the hallway of the second floor that neither of us saw. There's more on the way from our time investigating Waverly Hills Sanatorium through the night, and my channel keeps growing with explorations into the supernatural in some of the most haunted places in the US. So make sure you subscribe. Waverly 
Hill Sanatorium could accommodate over 400 patients and was considered one of the most modern and well-equipped facilities at the time. Construction of the sanatorium began in early 1924 and opened for business in late 1926. The facility served as a tuberculosis hospital until 1961 when the discovery of an antibiotic that successfully treated and cured TB rendered the facility obsolete. It was closed down and quarantined, then renovated. In 1962, the building reopened as Woodhaven Medical Services, a geriatric facility. Woodhaven Medical was closed by the state in 1981 after reports of patient abuse and neglect, along with being understaffed. Though death estimates vary widely, at least 6,000 people died at Waverly Hills during its more than 50 years of operation. Patients often suffered through agonizing treatments during their time at Waverly, including electroshock therapy and experimental surgeries that involved collapsing a lung. The practice of placing heavy sandbags on a patient's chest was also common. More often than not, the excruciating treatments were not effective. An underground tunnel, also called the Death Tunnel, leads from Waverly's main entrance to the bottom of a steep hill some 500 feet down. It is said that tuberculosis claimed one patient per hour during the height of the epidemic and that doctors used the tunnel as a body chute to remove the dead without upsetting the living. There are many haunted claims and stories tied to this fortress, some of which are Room 502, where it is said a nurse had taken her life. One version states she hung herself outside the room off an exposed pipe or light fixture. She had been impregnated by a doctor who wanted nothing to do with her after. The other story is she jumped out of a window in the room. It is also said that she had aborted her baby and dumped the fetus out back. There are claims that this was two different nurses who committed suicide. There are more variations to this nurse suicide and room 502. Nurse Mary Lee is tied to the story and a popular picture of an apparition taken in front of a room door is said to be her. Legend has it, a six or seven year old boy named Timmy who died at Waverly has yet to move on. Visitors often bring toy balls to the hospital and invite the ghostly child to play. The balls sometimes move seemingly of their own volition. There's a patient named Lois Higgs who died of the TB disease and is said to haunt the area of the room she stayed in on the second floor. There is talk of a supernatural creature they call the Creeper who seems to prefer roaming around the third floor and can crawl on the ceiling. There was a homeless man who lived in the building when it was abandoned with his dog. They say he was murdered, as was his dog, and they were dumped in an elevator shaft on the third floor. Here's some footage I took of the full moon above with my phone while waiting to get let in through the entrance gate of Waverly Hills. Yes, we did our investigation during a full moon. There was this object that was moving around where the moon is in view. I thought it was some type UFO, a creeper up in the sky, or some type insect. It moves like a spider and perhaps it was high enough above where my camera was pointing on some type web doing its business. There were some trees in the distance, but this moving object was in an area of the open sky, so I figured it was worth sharing. see but um, okay let's go check out down here see any corpses getting shot down this area want to speak to us Thank you. 
Any spirits down here can speak with us, please? I can hear the planes from above, even down here. Slid down. A lot of them walking on the body part. We got Marty walking on the steps. You scared? It smells bad, Tony. Like death. Yeah, well, it should be. You. There is death. That's where they put the pulley on. Oh, at the very end, I hear something. Yeah. Let's get down. Are you sure? Down there? Plastics will Somebody down there? Yeah, I know the plastic was moving. Why was it moving? Why it was moving? I don't know, but it stopped. We have to go down further. Tell me your name. Oh 
shit, there's a spider right there. It's dead though. Oh, there's live spiders too. There's all types of spiders here. You don't wanna, per se, get attacked. Oh. Who's with us here? I can hear your voices. We're just here to speak with you. Anybody who worked here, moving these bodies down this chute, right here. Tell us your name. Can you make a sound? Bang something? stopping point for some of the bodies. Yeah, was on, yeah the, the cart it was in. That's from uh, Ghost Hunter Adventures BX. about that. That good? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. It's back there. 
the known three. Oh no, I seem to have found a hand. <laughs> Alright, so over here... What's that? It's going crazy. Alright, so it is. Okay. I may have to switch to... Uh, I know we're allowed light in yeah, here. Yeah, it's right here. Hold on. Who's here with us? That thing's really going off. Wow, it's strong. What's in that thing? It's right here. Wow. Okay, you got our attention. It's like a hot spot. I don't even think it will go away. Can you go away from that? so that thing will stop going off right now. That's an EMF meter. It's like full force. It's nuts. Wow. It's constant. It's just constant in the spot. Total hot spot here. It's right here. I see. Here. Old laundry room, guest center stairwell, right here. Yeah, you know what? That's the entrance way to the body chute. I guess so. Yep, a lot of energy right there. There was a lot of bodies that came in and out from that entrance way to go down that body chute. So there's no telling. I heard whisper, so there's no telling. I'm going to probably switch cameras to, to go in the dark. Okay. Mara? Oh, well, let me go more with this. A little more. Killjoy. I am Killjoy, it says. What? The Emma. Go stand over there. Let me see. Oh, yeah. You're right. I'm trying to think where this leads to. This is like they've done more construction right here recently, so, you know, when they do construction, it sets off activity, energy. Wow. You know, it's going crazy. So, ooh, I heard something within here. Somebody in here? Wow, hear that? Footsteps. I'm trying to find a spot where I can have an open room to go into. There's an opening right here. Go in here. Well, there's a table over there. That's a good thing. I use that. It smells bad. It does smell bad. It smells like pee. Rags, you know, these things have been used in the whole wet. They start to smell like pee. I'm just gonna look in here real quick because it looks like old. In here. Alright. Hmm? That's 
Oh, it's it? gone. It was just going off and it stopped? Yeah, as soon as you were back, it stopped. Oh, weird. Mm -hmm. Put on some infrared. There we go. Oh, I got a little bit of a EMF in here, point two. All right, so let's uh, go out this way. Slow the camera. I'm gonna go out that way. Okay, that's fine. Let's go out that way. This is holding like a point two right now. Oh, I just saw a shadow. So I've heard like a little sound right here next to me. Oops. I don't have complete darkness now. Can you still see me? Yep. Ah, oh, death surrounded me. Who's here? My name is James. I'm losing my voice for some reason. You got Marty here too. She's holding the camera, filming. Can you tell us your name? Can I heard that? It's like a little. It's almost like it'd be a voice or something, but it's like very soft. Are you trying to talk to me and having a hard time? Again. Yeah, there's like a, it's 
like a soft, almost like a tapping on the wall here, I can hear. This thing is just staying at 0 .02, 0 0.02 milligauss. Can you do that? Come right by me here. Won't hurt you. Oh, a noise by me here. Almost looks like a metallic sound. Like something was banging. We hit this thing. No, it didn't sound like that though. Ooh, there on me. I'm gonna move a little bit. Get more comfortable. Feels good. Oh, I could sleep in here. peace after they passed on and left their bodies. They went through so much suffering, a release from the body and all the pain and suffering that was felt at that body and smothered and they couldn't breathe anymore. It's horrible. Just decaying like that. Life just being sucked out of you. We're sorry that you went through what you did. Now they found a cure for tuberculosis eventually and saved a lot of people's lives. I'm sorry that yours was not one of those lives saved. So we're gonna go and move onward. We will do a switch and rinse. Thank you for your camera work, hon. Did good work. Okay. Well, look at that. Huh? Oh, what's over there? I can't even see without any light, but it doesn't even look like beds. Is that what this is? Yes. Oh, this looks like where they put bodies too. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Sink. So they 
embalmed the bodies on these two pieces right here. They're embalming tables, basically. Sink where they would uh, drain everything out to as they drain from. <sighs> Hear that? What is that? I don't know. I heard that. A little freaky. Well, I'm sorry about what happened here. Any staff in here with us? Mr. Damon Bombers that passed away? It's like a metallic smell of blood. It's weird. Go figure. Yeah? Oh. I smell it. Do you? Yeah. It's weird. It's like the residual smell is still here. <laughs> What's over here, huh? Can you see over there? Is it a blood tooth? I don't know. No, it's... I don't know. These things right here. Looks like windows. Oh, they closed it up. They probably had some more over here one time. Because look, it's the same kind of thing as the other side. This light anomaly here. Yeah. I can't see in the dark. That's weird. For me, it's complete pitch black right here, now. Here, I'll hold it. All right. Oh, I know what it is. This is security camera. Oh, yeah. Well, I do have those here. Well, that was pretty creepy. All right, let's move on. There's a lot of light in here. This is the stairwell up. some scary faces in here. There's the creeper. I feel like eyes are upon me. For some reason. Ooh. Just a bit little scary. A little bit scary. Can I take a picture of that? Oh, you got something. Okay, good. Good, that worked with the flashlight. Who's here with us? Me and Marty. I'm James. Who's here? Creepy area. Creepy faces. Now this is a big old scary face. Look at that. A little spooky. Spin over. He's big and scary. What else is down here? Come, come out and play, please. All spookies, come out and play. We want to play. That's fun to us. Whoa, look, the coffin. Big area right here. Now, 
Isn't it over here where those women got scratched recently? They were all three sitting over here. Marty? Yes. I need you to sit up there. No. Hun, I, I need you to get scratched. I'm sorry. But you gotta do it for the show. Take this with you. All that. Okay. Whoever scratched those three women before? No, don't you care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, scratch me. Don't scratch her, but just tickle her or massage her hair for a second. Go buy her. That gadget she has will go off. Her voice. You think you're badass and you scratch people? Scratch me. I think you're a wimp. You can't scratch me. You're too scared of me. I dare you to. You can't do it. You can't scratch me. Feel anything? It was nice to sit down. Mm -hmm. Ticklish. Ticklish? Something tickling you? See that? Thank you for just tickling her, not scratching her. <laughs> Maybe those three others were not so nice. <laughs> Oh, is it? Wait, stand right there. I got this spooky chandelier up here. Oh, yeah. oh that's spooky. Spooky, spooky. All right, let's move on. Well, thank you for tickling her. Oh, I hit your heart in that back. All right, let's. I kind of wanted to go to the electroshock part. It's not here. I know. I'm just looking. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. I don't think that's me. No, it's not. Wow, it's nice outside. How you feeling? It's a nice room. Hmm? It's a nice room. Yeah, it's, it's peaceful. I think the breeze out there is going to make you feel really good. Okay. Right to the solarium where they put the beds outside. Here on the second floor. Here we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now remember, hon, in one of these rooms, I don't know if it's on this side or the, or the other side where they had that picture of that woman that's in here, the one who died in the room. Oh yeah, who's uh, asking for her twin sister. Right, Audrey she was asking for? Yeah. I think her name was Margaret. Maureen or something? So let's see if we can find it. It's around here somewhere. Let me do that so we can make it in. Okay. I'm gonna start looking. Maybe I'll go this way. I wish I remember which room it was. I'll quickly. In the closet, right? So I don't think it's this one. Oh, it hurts on. That would have been a closet door right there. So there's no closet in this one, I don't think. No. So move on to the next. Margaret, where are you? I'm looking for you. Your closet's still around. Maybe this is a closet right here. Or here. Are you sure it's not really Oh, I could be wrong with the name. No, it's 
none here. <laughs> Next one over. Third one. Oh, I, I know you said Audrey. But was your name Margaret or was it? No. Not this one. Now, I'm wondering if she was in the terminal room when she died. So that would be on the other side. We'll check here. Here it is. I found it. Here's her room. Bring your flashlight over, honey, and see what her name is. Okay. In there, hon. Go over there. Go close so you can read the thing. Lois. Lois. Lois Higgs. Hello, Lois. This is her room. And I think she died in here. He said she didn't even make it to the terminal room. Hey, look, they left stuff on the floor for her. He moved the flashlight away for a second. Here you go. Little trinkets for her. Lois, you around? Sweetheart, maybe get my uh, recorder out now, my audio recorder. Okay, recording at my task in Lois's room, Lois Higgs. I'm thinking if I can put my audio right by her picture here. I love it today. Maybe we'll put it on the floor here. Go ahead and talk to that, Lois, if you can. I'll leave that for you. See if it gets any voices. Lois, you around? Sorry what happened to you. In case you didn't know, your sister did live, Audrey. Nothing? So slightly right here. Slightly? It really doesn't show up on infrared, but... Okay. They used to roll her out here, wheel her out here, and this is the, where the picture was taken, right here. Hon, come over here. Sit right here. That's where the picture was taken of her. Sitting right over there. Go ahead and sit there, see if you can pick up anything. I'm sure, when she was in better shape, she used to love sitting there. Just looking over the side. Lois, this is Marty. She's sitting right where you are sitting. here so I can pick up your voice. Now come over here, hon. Look at her picture again so you get a perspective on where you're just sitting. Because that's where she was. And that picture was taken. are still here. Original door is still hooked up. Oh yeah. Look at these doors right here. 
still intact. It's a little dark up there, but here's the terminal side. No people died in these rooms. Busted through to the other side. I saw a shadow in here with my own eyes. Over here. Anybody here with us? One stayed here, Waverly Hills. My name's James. Got Marty right here. We're hoping you can speak with us. Like an opening, I guess, right? Yeah. I thought it was a figure. I did too. That's why I came over here. I'm trying to get some of these shadow figures I may have gotten from already. I'm hoping I did. Getting into this terminal. Yeah, it's pretty sad. I feel anxiety. Yeah. That's understandable. It's just so sad. I mean, you look at these rooms and you just know you're going there to spend your last moments suffering. What do you see? This side, the corner? This side? That way. Oh, this side. You felt something? Who's over here? Can you speak with me? Speak with us? I'm James, Marty. Can you tell us your name? What happened to you? You must be a paint. Okay, let's be quiet one second. See if somebody will speak to us. Oh, somebody's here. Yeah? I just got a quick reading. Oh, I saw something. Thought I did, yep. I saw that. Who's here? Can you come by us again? Oh, there you go. Yeah, go right by Marty, that's it. 
and it won't hurt you. Just listen, it just lets us know that you're here. Can you tell us when you were here? I can pick up your voice on this. Keep talking. I'm getting the shakes. Me too. Really? Yeah, I'm like, what's wrong with me? I feel shaky. Like, I'm, I'm shaking holding my audio. I'm like, I gotta stop shaking. Why am I shaking? I'm shaking. I thought like, I'm just wondering if my blood sugar is low or something. All of a sudden. That's weird. Somebody in here suffered and we're picking up their energy. Well, it could be just not one person. Who knows how many suffered and died in here. This is where they went, in these rooms, to die. At least 6,000 people died in this place. What's this right here? Oh, this is like an opening to... Uh, I thought that was a closet one time. I just don't want to leave This area? <laughs> and look at these. This is where they put their clothes. They'd hang them up on these hangers here. These little things. Little metal hangers at one time. Wow. The clothes of the dead, the clothes of the dying. Wow. I feel like in those rooms. Alright, I know you're freaked out here, so let's move out of these rooms. Yeah, I can leave. You're freaked out, I know you are. Like at home, it's like I know they said there were some areas where there were bathrooms. I kind of broke it up a little. Oh, here's a tub. Look at this. It's a bathtub. The washing is dying. Wow. Right in the terminal area of the dying. There's pieces of plumbing and stuff. Pipes. Getting anything over here? What does this door lead to? There's another room, I guess. Or that's a closet thing. Right. Keep walking. I feel the gravitation towards the open area. Yeah, I think most would. Sure, that's what they want for. Sure. Of course. Before they went out in the solarium, they'd bring them back in here. They'd put them out there during the winter, out here. And they wouldn't bring them back in until the snow started coming up on their beds. Crazy, huh? So could you imagine being out here in that freezing cold? And they still, they figured the cold was good for you? It's fresh, it's very fresh. Yeah, but you would be out here in the winter and you wouldn't come back in. Wow. They just leave you out here. Leave you out until snow was on your bed. 
at your feet. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's crazy. Yeah, that's really what happened here. That's what happened. Patients of Waverly Hills that can hear me, show yourself, come forth, reveal yourself to me, tell me about the pain you suffered. <laughs> I keep looking over and seeing somebody in the doorway. It's it's which door? This one? Yeah. This one right here? Pretty strong for a second. It was definitely over here. And now it's gone. There it is again. Huh? Good. 33? So we were just right by the closet. Yeah, it was over there, definitely. Whoever's here, we've got it's kind of video sweet, and audio going here. If you want to speak, show yourself. We're glad to talk with you. Oh, here's that top here. Look at that. Remember where they did the show and stuff? That's where we sat outside and watched, I think. I could be wrong. Maybe not. No, that's the side. That's the other side. But, oh, was that me? It's me. No. It's me. Let me 
put this down for a second. I was here with us. Tell us your name or anything you'd like to tell us. What is here to speak with you? Can you show yourself? We'd like to see what you look like. Try your best. Well, look over here. Concealed a, I don't know what kind of vine is growing inside here. Now this thing up here, I don't know what that did. Some kind of pulley system or something. Lift the body up a little. Whoa. Get something? Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that. You look a little woozy. <laughs> Do feel woozy. Could you imagine? There was like barely any life left in these people who stayed in these rooms before they died. So it could be draining if you're empathic and you could be doing that. Oh, it's nice to breathe. And a cold. It's slightly sweet. Do you smell that? I did. Oh yeah. You're right. Like coming back again. Maybe it's in the cold. Pressure on my chest. Oh, you're right. Maybe we should leave this room. Yeah, it's cold. Cool. never even heard that voice, but it came through the audio captured as if someone was with us. Wow, well, look at the windows. It's yeah. pretty, it makes a diamond. Yeah. Well, I'm stepping on a rock. Or glass. Or glass. Since I have a flashlight on, I can't tell which one it is. Feels like it would be rocked out. Oh, it's rock. Yeah. What the map's going on? It was. When you were going to put it with tape? Mm. I was noticing it. What's happening again? What, are you feeling drained again? Yeah, I'm feeling a little woozy. Well, you're in kind of a, another terminal room right next to the other one, so. What was that? I heard a little, like something moving. Huh. Next to the other one, so. The other one, so. Oh, it's being sucked by that thing. Alright. Got so dark in here, I can't see a thing. I heard some whispering voices. It's gotten real quiet now. Oh, 
this is like a stairway. Dark now, I can't even see it. There's something in this one. Oh, this goes to like bathrooms. Another bathroom set. I see toilets. Oh, there's like a, you could hang your clothes again. Just want to bang in anything here. Who's here with me? Who's using the bathroom? That one's the toilet right there. Just the top part. No, oh, it's got the whole thing. I can't believe it's still a toilet here. Sink. God, it's so dark. I can't see very well. Alright, coming out of here. I don't want to go into the terminal rooms anymore. I can tell you, Spook. It, it is so pitch black. You can't see nothing. I got this in here, though. In between? Just yeah. not in the terminal room themselves? Not in the terminal room. Just outside them, huh? Yeah, these rooms are great. Well, yeah, that's patience and kind of recovery, so... As opposed to these. But... Doesn't mean they survived too, just because they were in these rooms and then the, the solarium area. They could have still went from the solarium to that room to the terminal room. Yeah, but they could see it. They could see these rooms and they could see the outside from here, so. Wow, is this open? Let's see. Not. This door is closed for some reason. This is one of the terminal rooms. This room right here, terminal room. The door is locked. Yeah, I wonder why. Let me go through the other ones and see if it leads into it. Interesting. If I go into this one. No, here's the closet. There's still a light switch here. I didn't think so either, but why don't I try? Okay, so we can't get in this one terminal room. Let's go this side. Whoa. Whoa. People hold their Yeah, I see. There's one right here. I gotta walk right into. It's wide open. Oh. to the other terminal room if I can get past this. Um, I gotta have to walk over this thing here. I can't see, so without your flashlight on, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm good. I'll go over. Okay, I'm gonna go to this room here, the terminal room that was locked. Hanging stuff. I don't even see it, but it's hanging stuff here. It must be in bad shape or something. Oh, there's a chair in here. It's weird. It's like a lone chair in that room, just sitting there facing the window. Oh, there's something else in there too. Let me 
can try to get in there. You got a flashlight? Huh? Um. Just get it going so I can get into this terminal room. It's creepy. going on in this room. What the hell are they doing? It's just weird. Who's on that chair? Why was this room locked up? Tell me. Tell me your name. Tell me what happened to you in this room. Make that chair move even. Please. They might have redone the floor here, right? Right around where the chair is. It's weird, it's an old chair. Electrical cords. 